Hello, Jonathan Biznet again, and today I'm going to show you some stuff with capacitors that uh, I've encountered. I'm currently in the process of studying some things with them. And in this first circuit, it's really almost like two circuits, there's, there's two buttons. The first button will basically uh, flow uh, current through the uh, LED and charge the capacitor. And the second button will basically discharge the capacitor, uh, discharge the capacitor through a different LED um, back to ground. Uh, so the way this works, when I press this first button, you'll see the LED flash. Even though I'm continuing to hold the button, it no longer uh, glows. Uh, as soon as the capacitor reaches its full charge, which is a very quick period of time, the current quits flowing, in which case the LED goes out. The only resistor in this circuit is the 220 ohm resistor here. The capacitor is basically a 220 microfarad capacitor, so the amount of time uh, for this to charge up is roughly five times um, 220 ohms times 220 microfarads. That'll get it to about 99% of its charge. Uh, the same, by the same token, when I press this other button over here, you'll actually see it discharge across this LED. Same thing very quickly. The, the function's actually logarithmic. It curves up very quickly when it's charging and then gradually reach, reaches its full capacity. And when it's discharging, same thing. It, it Drops, uh, it drops very quickly as it discharges a significant portion, uh, roughly two-thirds of its capacity in that first of the five periods that make up the, the general charge and discharge phase. And then it, it gradually lets the rest of it go. Uh, very quickly, though, the amount of current that's flowing is insufficient to keep the LED lit. So that's what you see in that circuit. So to do it again, you'll, you'll see a very quick flash as it charges up, and then another flash as it discharges. Uh, this is the circuit I just showed you, <clears throat> and you'll see uh, basically when J1 is closed, the capacitor C1 is charged up through R1 and LED1, and then when J1 is open and J2 is closed, the capacitor discharges across LED2 and R2. Now I have a second circuit here, which takes us uh, a little further. And instead of having a second switch over here, what I've actually got is a transistor, in this case an NPN transistor. And I have a 15K ohm uh, resistor going from the capacitor to the base of the transistor. So in this circuit, when I press the button, the LED is going to go on as a circuit is completed through here. But at the same time, the capacitor is going to charge. And when I release the button, the, the LED will stay lit for several seconds as the capacitor discharges. Now, this is the same size capacitor. It's a 220 ohm capacitor, but it's discharging over 15K ohms. I'm sorry, it's a 220 microfarad capacitor, sorry, discharging across the 15K ohm resistor, which means the time periods are longer. Additionally, the amount of current can get much smaller because it doesn't take very much current to drive the base of the transistor and keep the LED lit. So here we go as I press this button and release it you'll see that the LED stays lit and it'll stay lit for several seconds as that capacitor gradually discharges. Now you're starting to see it dim and here eventually it's going to go out or at least nearly go out. Uh, you can see just the tiniest of glow in it. Uh, so that's a sample of what happens here. So again the the very quick charge because there's not there's no resistance in line with the capacitor but a very very slow discharge across that resistor if I were to make that resistor even larger the charge would dissipate even slower uh, and keep the LED lit even longer so that's what I was going to show you with the capacitors they basically will store uh, will collect a charge and store it and then it can be discharged uh, to serve many useful purposes. In this case, it's a DC circuit, and basically it will, once the capacitor is put in series with uh, other components and has a charge on it, it will gradually discharge that charge across the circuit. 
This is the second circuit I showed you, and as you can see in this one, when J1 is closed, the capacitor C1 is charged up, as well as the fact that the current through the 15K ohm resistor will excite the base of transistor Q1, which will cause LED1 to be turned on. When J1 is opened, then the capacitor will slowly discharge across resistor R2, the 15K ohm resistor, and keep the base of Q transistor Q1 open and the LED on. When it reaches a, uh, the level of current where it's insufficient to power the base, at that point the transistor will turn off and, L1, and LED1 will turn off. So anyway, hope you found this interesting. Talk to you later.